So this guy's responding to Matthew 7, where Jesus tells those who profess to believe in him that he never knew them. So he says, these are those who did not take their vow or walk in the Lord seriously. They know who he is, but they were hypocrites. They had gifts. They had gifts, healing, prophetic, etc., but lived unholy. So let's go to the same chapter, Matthew chapter seven, because I want to show you that you can be a believer. Right. And you can be a hypocrite because that's that seems to be what you're implying in this in this comment, that just because you are walking with God, you can't be a hypocrite. So let's go to Matthew seven. Let's start at verse three. He says, and why do you Jesus says, why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? but do not consider the plank in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye and look, a plank is in your own eye. Hypocrite. So, so notice what he's saying. He's talking to a believer who is not looking at the plank in his own eye Right. He's saying that the believer, he's saying that how can you remove the speck out of your brother's eye and you can't even see the plank that's in your own eye. So by him using the term your brother, how can you remove this from your brother's eye? So it's talking about believers, your brother, your brother in Christ. Right. So he's saying you can be a hypocrite and be a brother. That's what he's saying. So now let's get to these other things you said. They had gifts of healing, prophetic, etc., but lived unholy. Now they had these gifts. Only believers can have these gifts. Only those who walk with Christ, right? Can have these gifts. Now, why would he give these gifts to those who live unholy? Why would he give these gifts to people that would deny him in the end? That's my question to you. If he already knew they was going to deny him because the scriptures say he already knew what was in man. He already knew who would betray him, so on and so forth, right? So why would he give these gifts to those who he knew would deny him in the first place? What what kind of sense does this does that make if you say that Jesus is God and he all knowing? And if they had these gifts, do you have these gifts? Can you heal the sick? Can you cast out devils? Can you raise the dead? Because if these people who did, if they really did these things and you are not doing those things, you have no chance. How do you think you have a chance just by saying, Lord, Lord, just by pro you professing a note to be a believer in Jesus? How do you think you have a chance if those who were doing the things that you should be doing right now at this moment? They're not going to make it in. He going to deny them. So what chance do you have? You don't even have the works. You're not even doing the works that those Jesus will deny was doing. Right? So that's my question to you.